I greet you as one god to another. I am Kazar. It was I who provided the vortex to save you from Nemesis. Please come with me. I need your help. In return, I will help you. Sorry, I started recording late. My bad. My very existence is threatened by Lethys, another god from the snowy realm and an ally of Nemesis. But you and I together can turn the tide of this war. There is much to do though. Firstly, you need to build up a village and look after your worshippers. I'll take you back to your village and place down scaffolds for you from my village's workshop. These create blueprints which indicate to your people what to build and where you want it. I will give you my finest builder. This is a disciple who works single-mindedly. You can create your own disciples by... Thanks, guys. Here is some food, wood and water for your tribe to help you start. I must leave to defend my realm, but I shall return when I can. Kazar has provided us with so much. He's a true ally. He's desperate, that's what he is. Let's get our village built. Yeah, and we gotta get disciples working there. Alright, so as you'll see, a let's see, I dropped a lot of stuff. Well, he became in some of that stuff, but there's some food, there's some more food. Villagers, I threw through, through, um, let's see, cows and trees and whatever else. Um, I read online that it's better to put objects through the portal instead of just lump sums of stuff because there's a maximum amount of. Um, a maximum amount of wood or food that you can go that can go through like 20,000 food or 20,000 wood or, or something like that I'm not I'm not sure exactly what the numbers are and it was I don't know if it was something official or what it was exactly but that's what I heard all right so basically um, I'll explain a couple of other things as well um, you'll notice that my creature is significantly bigger than he was on land one although he's very skinny because I suck at feeding him um, what I did was uh, there's this map called extreme growth and basically all it is is just an island with a temple and some food and it's just always dark so you can basically just make your creatures sleep there um, all the time and they grow really fast so I probably spent I don't know, like two hours in that, and basically you can pretty much just let him go by himself because there's nothing really for him to do. He'll just eat and sleep and drink and poop, and that's it. There's nothing else for him to do there, so um, he'll just do that on his own. And you don't really need to do anything. Um, so I did that for a while. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned before, I threw a bunch of stuff through. Um, I haven't played Black and White in a while, well, since my last video, but the first island isn't really that good I mean it, it it hits the basics of the game and everything but um, I I tried teaching my character on uh, on a, or my my character my creature on a skirmish game and um, it didn't go very well like I taught him the food miracle and he learned it I said 100% and I was trying to get him to cast it on the town store which needed food and he just wasn't he wasn't casting it. He'd, you know, I'd tell him to cast it, and he would make a little gesture, like he knew what I was doing, and then he'd go grab a cow or something and throw it in there. So I don't know why he wasn't casting the miracle. I gotta try to get him to do that. Um, I'm pretty much gonna make my creature be like 100% good or like as good as possible, basically just because that's gonna be the easiest way to play the game um, to get through everything. Because if your creature is just destroying everything and you have to manage it all and you just waste more resources and everything, so it's not that good. Um, but anyway, so I'll uh, 
I'll continue with this. Um, how much food? How much wood is here? Uh, <laughs> wood required zero. The game looks like crap. Because um, I had to change it to 720p. Because my, my computer just really doesn't like to record at 1080p. It's just not good enough. And good, he's getting some fish. Which technically is evil, I guess. But <laughs> I'll reward him for that. Because he ate at a good percentage, too. 50%. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can get into with the feeding and the teaching and all that stuff. Um, I'm really not going to get into that unless anybody wants me to really explain that. I'll try and go into more detail about it, but... For this, I'm gonna try and focus on on the on, on the actual game, on the actual story. Um, yeah, so we'll go from there. Stupid temple! Hurry up and get built. God damn it! Let's use this. Yeah, see, he just learned a little bit of it just from standing there. I didn't even have to focus him. Your temple is built. Excellent. I'm going to have to really watch my creature because I don't really know what he's going to do with with villagers and whatnot. I think he might eat them or whatever just because I, I basically started him out without even doing the first land. I just skipped it all and took a fresh creature into the growth map. So... He was really lazy, and I had to tell him not to sleep all the time. Because he was basically just sleeping all the time, and that's not what you want. Um, let's get some more builders. Disciple builder. Uh, yeah, so you can use pretty good use of pause, because I think... I can get stuff from Lethus, or sorry, Lethus. I can't even remember his name now, but I think I can steal his. Must build oh, he doesn't have any. You must build more. Okay, shut up. Where did my village go? All right, here it is. All right, I don't know what he's gonna be doing. He really doesn't. Don't don't steal from people's store. No, don't do that. Bad monkey. Don't steal from their store, asshole. Come back over here. I basically need a lot of stuff. What else is here? Food, water. I think there's some heal in there as well. Need builders and junk. Yay, he's helping. But he needs to know the miracle. I need you to know the miracle. Because wasting trees is bad. No, put the tree down. 